Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be the Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time this is going to be a video very similar to the one I did on Drytrons a couple months back. This is going to be three basic Dragoody combos that you should know, based off of what version of the deck you're playing, whether you're playing very minimalist, very low investment, and like a reasonable amount of reward, whether you're playing the Dragon Buster lock, or whether you're playing the Goliath Lechery lock. I'm going to be showing you three different combos that are the core combos for understanding how you should get into those sorts of combos with the least amount of involvement in terms of needing starter cards or combo cards. So that's going to be what I'm going to be showing you. It's going to take a while. I'm going to try and make this video as concise and to the point as I can, but this combo deck has a lot of moving parts. So forgive me if this video ends up being longer than desirable. But other than that, if you're new here and you really enjoy Dragoonies and you're interested in seeing what this video has to offer and you like what this video has to offer and you want to see more Dragoonie content from yours truly, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below and enable the bell notification so you do not miss a future upload for Dragoonies or whatever other pet deck I'm you know messing with at the time. I like to go very into the deep end with whatever pet, like, pet deck I end up messing around with that I find I gravitate to. I've been messing with Dragoonies for a decade though, so this is definitely the one I understand the most. But other than that, if you like this video, be sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. It would help out a ton in terms of favoring me in the algorithm, and it lets me know that I'm doing stuff the way that needs to be done. I know that I'm doing it right, and I know that you like what you're seeing, and other than that, links in the description to relevant stuff like Twitch and Discord server and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, with that out of the way, with all the rambling done, first combo I'm going to show you is going to be involving, in fact, the first two combos I'm going to show you in this video are going to be involving just Remus as a starter card. Only Remus, meaning if you get into Dragon Ravine or get into Dragoonie Remus, then you're capable of making an entire combo happen regardless of what the rest of your hand is. This combo I'm going to be showing you is going to be Remus plus two discards, and this one is going to be not involving any form of lock. This is going to be for more of the beginner Dragoonie players that are not really trying to guard Dragon combo, step up through complex sequencings or specific board placements. They want to get their feet wet with Dragoonie with the new support, and they want to have good combos that don't go too crazy but are still very good return on investments, and that is what this combo is going to be. This combo is going to be Remus, by itself, plus two discards, gets you to Warload Savage Dragon, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, and Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. So, for the three cards you put in, you get a bounce and two negates, and the bounce floats into more resources for the following turn, and you get to keep the Dragon Ravine, so overall you went plus one. So, Dragon Ravine uh, is going to be added off of Dragoonie Remus here. And then you get to activate the Ravine and discard one of the worthless discards to add Dragoonity Legatus. And because we have Ravine in the Spell and Trap Card Zone, or the Field Spell Zone rather, we get to Special Summon the Legatus. And now because we control a Dragoonity Monster, we can Special Dragoonity Remus from our Grave, but we're locked into Dragons for the rest of the turn from our extra deck. So we're going to Synchro 6 with these, the Legatus and the Remus, into Dragoonity Knight Gaederg. And Gaederg is going to use its effect to add Blackwing Zephyrus, the Elite from deck to hand, and then discard it. And then we're going to bounce the Ravine to hand to Special Summon the Blackwing, Zephyros, and take 400 life. Now from here, we're going to link these away into Dragoonity Knight Romulus. And then Romulus' effect on Summon is going to add Dragoonity Glow from deck to hand. And we're going to use Glow to add Dragoonity Arma Mistleton from deck to hand. Now, since Dragoonity Romulus is a Dragoonity card, we can tribute it to Special Summon the Dragoonity Armor Mistleton, and Mistleton can equip any Dragon Dragoonity engraved to it on Summon. So we're going to equip the Gaederg. And then we're going to use the Glow's second effect in Graveyard, if you're not familiar with what this card does. This card gets to banish itself from Grave to target a monster in the Spell and Trap card zone that is equipped to a Dragoonity monster I control, and I can Special Summon that monster in defense position. So the Glow allows us to Special Summon the Gaederg from the Mistleton's equipped uh, little slot, and we're capable of comboing with it from there. So, Gaedorg's effect is going to be used again to add a copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock from deck to hand, discard it. It triggers because it met its uh, trigger requirement of being discarded as the last thing that happened. And then we're going to overlay these two level 6 dragons into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. Now we're going to use Atum's effect. This is all without normal summoning, by the way. That's what like makes Remus super, super good, is that you can combo up into Atum and Romulus and all that without normal summoning. Atum is going to attach Gaederg, summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from the deck, and then Darkness Metal is going to use its effect to special summon Gaederg from Grave, and then Gaederg is going to use its effect to add a copy of Dragoonity Phalanx from deck to hand, and then discard it. Then from here, we're able to make Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon with the Baby Rock and the Gaederg, and then we are also capable of going Atum and Red Med into Hieratic Seal 
of heavenly spheres. If you want to, if you want to just leave the Atum and the Red Men on the board, if you're going for very minimal involvement in terms of what you want to be doing, if you're very, very much getting your feet wet with Dragoonities and you want to leave the Atum Red Med for better follow-up and like a more oppressive board, be my guest. Feel free to do so. But if you're looking for the maximum return on investment in terms of getting a board that can negate things, you're going to want to activate this Dragon Ravine because we have not normal summoned yet. You're going to want to make this Hieratic Seal because it's another form of interaction. And then we're going to discard the other guard, the uh, other card, the second discard, to add Dragoon Deducts from deck to hand. And then from here, we're going to just be doing the old the old faithful, the, the 2011 combo of Summon Duck, Special Phalanx, Sink into Vajrayana, and then get Phalanx back again. Special Synchro into Borload Savage Dragon. And that will equip the Dragoon Unite Romulus that is in our graveyard to it. And give it to interactions. Two negates. Where is my die? There it is. Okay. So why would you want to do this combo? Like I said, if you're a beginner to this deck, you are not super comfortable with doing all of the fancy moving parts guard dragon combos that have very strict board spacing requirements and very strict sequencing requirements of what you're adding and discarding off Gay Dirk based off of what extenders you have in your hand and all these other you know variable factors. This is a very, very tame entry level combo for you to do that is actually still a meta relevant board dragon link is the best deck in the format right now and it's ending on savage spheres and we're ending on savage spheres plus crystal wing right so this isn't a weak board by any stretch of the imagination also another reason why you might want to do this is that if you are playing pot of prosperity and you need to make sure you see dragon ravine or remus in order to play the rest of your hand is unplayable you can banish six cards off Pot of Prosperity and dig for six and still perform this combo because this combo only took seven cards out of the extra deck to do. And it's a very, very good board in terms of like being stable, very well like rounded. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. If you get to like Dragon Ravine or Remus, you're capable of doing this combo. And so if you need to banish six off Prosperity to perform a combo to play like say it's game three of a critical you know match you're going to top or not based off this match and you need to take that chance this is a combo that you can perform using cards you're already do, like using in your extra deck these are all extra deck staples that you can perform well vajrayana is not an extra deck staple but i mean i play it because this card is nuts making ducks a very powerful normal summon later in the game is is good as well um but even if you weren't making the savage dragon you're capable of doing something else like uh uh, you're capable of making Savage Dragon instead of the Crystal Wing and normal summoning ducks and uh, going into like a Reed Bear if you added and discarded Coos, right? Because you're able to go into, uh, well, no, that would still, that would involve, no, that would involve Barca and a Reed Bear. It would involve an extra card in the extra deck. No, it wouldn't. Barca would just be Vajrayana. So, yeah, you can do that as well. If you don't want to play Vajrayana, you can make a Reed Bear Savage. So, it's it's still viable, right? I'm, I'm losing track of my train of thoughts. I need to start, I need to stop rambling. I need to go on to the next combo. Basically, this combo is very, very beginner friendly, very basic. If you want to get your feet wet with Dragoonie, you don't want to be playing any of these like like bricks in your deck in the form of Dragon Buster or Goliath Lechery, and you just want to make maximum return on investment in terms of one card being Remus or Ravine getting you to a full combo, you can do that. That is this first combo. We're going to step it up to a more complex combo involving these same cards, though, immediately. Let me clean this up real quick. All right, so second combo is going to be another Remus-only combo. Remus is your only starter card. Remus or Dragon Ravine discarding a card for Remus, plus two discards. Obviously, these combos are augmentable and made better by opening other cards like Tuners, like Phalanx Coos, opening extenders like, you know, Zephyros, Baby Rock, and stuff like that that you would naturally be using in the combo anyway, meaning you get to add different cards off Gator and discard those, all that sort of nonsense. But making it self-contained in the form of just Remus for full combo, that is what we're gonna be showing you here. Now, this is gonna be the basic bare bones combo of what you're gonna be doing to Dragon Buster lock your opponent, equipping Dragon Buster to Leviton, and then also ending up with two negates and a Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres for a bounce. So it's a bit better of an ending board, and it involves only the same amount of cards in terms of starting cards that we used previously. It just requires a change in philosophies of how you approach the combo and how you sequence cards. So, Remus, discard to add Ravine. Ravine effect, discard one of the cards to add Legatus. Very similar. It's the exact same starting sequence, but it's going to have a tiny bit of changes. Legatus specials, Remus specials. Remus and Legatus get synchroed into the Gaydarg. 
And then the Gaydurg here, instead of adding Zephyros first, we're going to add Miss Valley Baby Rock first and discard that. And then Baby Rock gets special summoned. And then from here, we're going to make the Dragoon Unite Romulus. Now, Romulus is going to add Dragoon to Glow. Glow is going to add Mistleton. And then Mistleton is going to tribute over the Romulus to summon itself, equipping the Gaydurg. And then Glow Effect Engrave is going to banish to special the Gaydurg. And then Gaydurg gets to add Zephyros here and discard Zephyros because we want to be using this later rather than sooner. The Ravine reset is still going to be happening. It's just going to be happening for a specific different purpose of being able to make Barca without requiring us to get ducks. But so, we're going to overlay these into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, and then we're going to detach the Gaydurg to summon the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from the deck, and then Darkness Metal is going to special the Gaydurg, and then from here we get to go Gaydurg, add Dragoonity Phalanx, discard Dragoonity Phalanx. And then from here we're gonna link the Atum and the Darkness Metal into Protector Whelp of the Destruction Sword. And now Protector Whelp on Summon is going to send our win condition, in this instance, Dragon Buster from deck to grave when it's Link Summoned. So now from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to bounce Ravine with Zephyros and take 400, and then we're going to activate the Ravine again and discard the other random discard we had, and we're going to add Dragoonity Coos from deck to hand. And we haven't normal summoned yet in this combo, so we're going to commit the normal summon to Koos. And then we're going to synchro this, treating Koos as a 4 with its effect, into Dragoonity Knight Barca. Now Barca gets to equip three cards here. It gets to equip a Koos, gets to equip a Phalanx, and it also gets to equip the Mistleton that's in Grave. And now from here, we special both the tuners, and we go one tuner into Elpy, and then the other tuner into Pisty. So, setting up the Guard Dragon arrows, pointing this way without having to do like weird things with triple burst or uh darkness metal link or anything like that but now from here we need to make some space and we also like don't get to use the pisty to an amazing degree uh it's just going to be used as like another free revive for a tuner it was mainly for establishing the arrows so we didn't really lose anything because we used a tuner to make it and then it's bringing the tuner back but it's not like super great it'd be great if we could just revive darkness metal and use its effect again but konami eroded that card because konami hates fun but so I'm going to synchro the Gaydurg and the Phalanx that I just revived into Borload Savage Dragon. And then Borload Savage Dragon is going to equip Dragoonity Knight Romulus to itself and get its negation counters. And then from here, now that we've got the zone open again, we're going to use LP. And LP is going to summon the other half of our win condition, Dragoonity Armor Leviton, from our deck to this zone. Now, Leviton on summon is going to equip a tuner again to function as an extender, so we're going to get Phalanx back. And now we need to clear some board space. Now, you do not need to play this card. If you don't play this card, you still end on the exact same board of playing, of having a Reed Bear plus Savage plus Spheres plus this equipped a Dragon Buster. But if you do play this card, you get information about your opponent's deck. Uh, it allows you to clear your board a bit more efficiently because it functions better than a link would, like linking these away into triple burst and then these into like spheres just to get the board clear. Because uh, right now, as you can see, the board space is very cluttered. And it also works better in uh, combos where we have more extenders, where we're putting more cards into play and like have a crystal wing on board as well. Like so we have more cards that we want to commit to play to make a more developed ending board, right? But so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to link these away. Well, link fusion summon uh, contact fusion with these three cards into Trishula, the dragon of icy imprisonment. I specifically have been avoiding making videos involving this card because I've ordered one and it's been delayed shipment to me like twice. I cannot get someone to ship me this this card. I can't. I just can't get it. Um, but this card is really cool for combos. Every time someone asked me about this card, I would feign ignorance of like, oh no, I don't know what combos you're talking about because of course I'm not going to just tell you. I'm going to like try and make combo tutorials with it and a lot of videos and content canon loaded up fire and share it with the world, right? Um, but like this card is really good for extension uh, purposes because it allows us to banish Tempest from deck. If you already had banished Tempest off of like, Gold Sark or you drew Tempest or whatever, you do not need to make this card. This card is not like a core component of the of this combo, but it's uh, it's something that's really good for board clearing and also getting you further into uh, your desired ending board, as well as getting the information from your opponent. But anyway, uh, the Trishula, Fusion activates, you look at your opponent's extra deck, take the best card out of it, 
mill a card from the top of their deck, and then you banish Tempest from your deck. And the Tempest triggers searching us a second copy of Mistleton. So this combo does require you to play two Mistleton. It's not the best extender, but it's also not the worst. Uh, it being a requirement to play uh, for the Tempest search is not that big of a deal. Um, so it's like, it's fine. I would rather play other extenders, but like the fact that this combo is contained and is easily as accessible as it is uh, makes it a bit worth it to me. But anyway, so adding this Mistleton to hand, we're going to special the Phalanx. We're going to link the Leviton and the Trishula away into Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. And then we're going to tribute the Phalanx, special the Mistleton, and the Mistleton gets to equip Koos, and then Koos gets to be special summoned, and then we'll treat Koos as a four again with its effect to synchro into Dragoonie Knight, a Reed Bear. So, now we have this Barca that's still equipped with the Mistleton, so we'll banish this, and the Mistleton goes to Grave to special summon the Leviton via its own effect, and then Leviton on summon will equip Dragon Buster to it so that your opponent cannot summon from the extra deck. Now, this is not as safe as Goliath Lechery. I do not feel as snugly tucked into my safety blanket with this one. Uh, but it is good because it's very easily like accessible through various combo routes. These combos for the Dragon Buster stuff has less choke points overall, um, and like it's easier to extend through them with more generic extenders versus the Goliath Lechery combos. You need a lot more specific extenders at specific points to extend should choke points be breached. But this is a very good ending board off of just Remus plus two discards. Two discards that had no specific qualities to them. Now, obviously, if any of those discards are cards like Phalanx, Koos, any of that makes your Barka better, means that you can uh, make a better ending board, all that sort of stuff. You get information about your opponent's deck through the Trishula Fusion, and you have Bounce, two Negates, and your opponent can't summon from the extra deck. It's a bit weaker to spells, like power spells like Dark Ruler and Droplet and stuff like that, but you still cannot lose Stall Fusion or Super Poly because of Dragon Buster. And it's just, you know, the deck is a little bit better off in terms of the way you build it for this sort of stuff, but it's a bit less good practically in terms of you're not as open and shut of a game as you are with Goliath Lechery, because Goliath Lechery is several negates, plus your opponent can't activate any spells, meaning that, like, even their engine cards are shut off. So, you, you get what you get, and you take what you take, and you lose what you lose. So, it really depends on how you want to play the deck. But, so, I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to show you a two-card bread and butter goliath lechery combo that is sort of the extreme deep end of how you have to combo with this deck and how you have to understand specific board placements and stuff like that we start with very beginner this is sort of intermediate and then the next combo is going to be what i would consider pretty advanced all right so this last and most advanced combo that i'm going to show you in this video is a two card combo of ravine plus phalanx the bread and butter cookie cutter combo from all the way back in 2011 only instead of normal summoning one level eight synchro through ducks into vajrayana we're going to be doing a lot more than that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go activate Ravine, discard Phalanx, and add the best boy, the most powerful normal summon in the game, Dragoonity Ducks, from our deck to hand, and then normal summon it. Ducks effect is going to equip Phalanx, and we're going to special the Phalanx, and we're going to synchro these off into our Dragoonity Knight, Gaederg. Gaederg's effect is going to add and discard the Mist Valley Baby Rock, special summoning itself, and then these are going to be linked away into Dragoonity Knight, Romulus. Romulus on summon is going to get Dragoonity Glow, and then you're going to use Dragoonity Glow to add Dragoonity Armor Mistleton from deck to hand, and then you're going to tribute the Romulus to special the Mistleton, and the Mistleton is going to equip the Gaederg, and then the Glow effect engrave is going to banish to special the Gaederg. Now, zone placement, pretty important <laughs> as soon as we start going deeper into this combo. So, Gaederg. You're going to use its effect to add and discard Zephyros, and then we're going to overlay these into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. Now, we're going to detach the Gaederg to get the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from the deck, and then use Darkness Metal's effect to revive the Dragoonity Knight Gaederg. Then use Gaederg's effect to add a second copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock from deck to hand and discard it, and then this Baby Rock will special summon itself. Now, from here, we need to gain a card. We need to pick up an extra card in order to mean that we get to end on Goliath Lechery. Because as you'll notice, right now we don't have a card in hand for us to discard off of Gaederg later in the combo. And we also need access to just more just natural extenders for the deck anyway. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link, well, I say link, I'm going to fusion summon with the Atum, the Gaederg, and the Darkness Metal into, again, Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. This is a Goliath Lechery combo that uses Trishula Fusion to great effect. This is the first, like, Goliath Lechery combo that I've been able to get functioning and, like, optimized 
that is a two card combo, which is huge. Usually the Goliath Lechery combos are always three card combos because you require the card to discard, or you need to have an extender to allow you to bounce a card with Zephyros that's a monster to be a free discard while the extender fills the role of that monster that you bounced, right? But so this Trishula is going to allow us to banish Tempest from deck, which gets us that card to discard, and it's also going to function as getting us an extender because the Tempest is going to search Dragoonity Arma Laviton, which is an extender that we're going to be able to use in Grave and all that sort of nonsense. But now from here, we're going to continue the combo. We've got this Tuner, the Miss Valley Baby Rock, and the Trishula, so we're just going to link these away into Crystron Halka Fibrax. The key point of this combo is that we are not locked into dragons from our extra deck yet. Because if we normal summon ducks, we have not used Remus's effect, we have not used Senatus's effect, we're not locked into dragons from the extra deck, so we get to step up through a valuable link like Halk that gets us to more tuners. So, Halk is going to be made, and we're going to use it to summon Dragoonie Coos from our deck. It cannot activate its effects, but its continuous effect to be able to treat itself as a level 4 for the synchro summon of a Dragoonie monster is still able to be used here, because that's not an activated effect. Something I've had to clarify in the past, figured I might as well go in and mention it. But so Zephyros is going to bounce the Ravine, and we're going to take 400, and then we get to activate the Ravine and discard the Leviton to add Dragoonity Remus from deck to hand. So we've accessed some cards to discard for Gaydurg, we've got an extender loaded in the grave, an extender loaded in hand to discard for Gaydurg adding Lechery, so we get to use it later. It's very nice, very good, very good stuff. But so now we're going to Synchro using this as a 4 and the Zephyros into Dragoonity Knight Barca. And then the Barca is going to equip 3. It's going to equip Coos, Phalanx, and Mistleton. Coos, Phalanx, Mistleton. There it is. I couldn't see it for a while. And then from here we're going to Special the Coos, and we're going to Special the Phalanx. And then we're going to link a Coos away into Pisty. And then we're going to banish the Barca that's equipped with the Mistleton to summon the Leviton from Grave. And then Leviton can re-equip and re-special summon that Coos that we literally just got rid of. All right? So now what we'll do is we'll link away the Coos and this Halk into Triple Burst Dragon. And now from here, we're going to use Pisty's effect. And because we banished Gaydurg, we can still summon it with Pisty. Because Pisty can summon from Grave or Banished. So we'll Pisty the Gaydurg back out of our Banished pile. And then we'll use Gaydurg's effect. We're going to add a Morphage Lechery from deck to hand. And we're going to discard the Dragoonity Remus. Now from here, we're going to Synchro the, uh, the, um, the Gaydurg and the Flanks up. Well, actually, uh, it's better for us to do this uh, instead first. Making the Darkness Metal Link. Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel, Because this makes our uh, Borlode Savage Dragon have more attack. Uh, and more negates, actually. It's something that I was about to do a slight bit incorrectly, but it's whatever. Uh, so, Borlode Savage Dragon. We're going to equip the uh, Triple Burst that we just put in Grave for it. We could have just made it and like equipped uh, Halk Fibrax or Romulus, but this gives more attack and gives an additional negate. So, it's like, might as well, right? And then from here, we get to go Dragoonity Remus. Special itself, because we do control Dragoonity, we control the Leviton, and then we get to link this Remus away into Guard Dragon Elpy. And now from here, Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel's effect, can be used to get this Elpy back, or not Elpy, this, uh, this uh, Remus back out of the Banished Zone, and we get to Synchro with it into a Reed Bear. This goes to the bottom of the deck, because it was summoned off Darkness Metal, and then the Leviton goes to Grave. We summon a Reed Bear. And now we get to go a Morphage Lechery, and we get to activate the LP effect as the last thing we do to summon a Morphage Goliath from our deck. So two card combo, Ravine Phalanx, with no additional cards needed in hand, stepping up through the Trishula Fusion, gets us access to Goliath, Lechery, the opponent can't activate spells, the opponent cannot summon from the extra deck, so you can't get Dark Ruler, you can't get Dropleted, your opponent can't activate their powerful engine spells, and then you also have two negates in the form of Savage Dragon and a monster negate in the form of a Reed Bear. If you have any extender that you can go with, throw into this, you have like any pair of extenders or high quality extender like Reborn or Revolution Dragon, you can also put Crystal Wing on this ending board. But noteworthy is that this entire combo took 12 cards. 12 cards out of the extra deck. So you can play three additional cards in your extra deck that are flexible spots for other combos to be made or are just cards to allow you to have more follow-up or follow-through. Like, you're obviously going to be playing a Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, maybe a second copy of Romulus, um, stuff like that. Maybe an Ascalon, whatever. Uh, you can just play flex spots in there. But 
The key point being is that this combo always takes 12 cards, meaning that if you play Pot of Prosperity, you can banish those three cards and still full combo into this, All right? So basically, those are the combos that I wanted to show you for this video. Sorry that this video probably ended up being long, but this video is on a deck that has a lot of moving parts. This combo deck is very, very intricate in terms of how many cards you're moving around and what you're doing with them. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's literally impossible for you to move a certain amount of cards around at a speed faster than what I can physically move them at, right? Obviously, my rambling probably didn't help. But anyway, most people say that they tend to like that because it's pretty informative and I usually say things that are questions that they have that I answer ahead of time because I'm just speaking my mind about the deck and letting the, like, the diarrhea of the mouth run free. And I'm just talking about everything I could possibly think about about the combo or deck or whatever. But let me know what you think in the comments down below <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. Links to my Twitter, my Discord server, my Twitch page are in the description down below if you're interested in any of those definitely make use of those links that is what they are there for again like this video if you liked what you saw if you want to see more dragoony combos there are definitely old videos riddled all over the channel you can amend them to basically make them do whatever you want with some new philosophies that i've shown as my own knowledge with the deck has developed or the things that i've been willing to show you have been more developed and other than that as always thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual guys and take care i will see you in the next video